All right, here with City Soil Machine today to go over uh, proper oiling for your 2200G series as well as the 2200B, M18, and other similar series of the 2200 uh, subclass machines. Um, this information is in your instruction manual slash parts manual provided by Union Special when you purchase the machine new but a lot of times out in the field uh, operators do not have this manual handy and this is why we're offering this video first thing you'll need is you'll need a, probably a small bottle like this or similar that has a small end Preferably a metal end versus like a little plastic end. Like this. And that is so when you press down on those little balls here behind them, they got little springs. So you got to press it in and squirt oil to get oil inside the machine. And if you got a, a, a different tip here on your oil bottle, when you press in and squirt, it's not going anywhere. It's just going back into your bottle. It's not getting in the machine. So the proper oil spec per manufacturer in the book is spec 175 provided by Union Special. We do offer this oil as well as we have a compatible oil uh, that's an AW46 for these machines. We stock the AW46 uh, normally have anywhere from you can purchase it in the smaller four ounce bottles like this as well as a quart, gallon, or five gallons is what we offer it in. So we're going to go over where to oil this, how often to oil it, and what not to lubricate it with. Because the not lubricate it with um, is very important. A lot of people say, oh, I'm going to spray WD-40 on it. I'll get it lubricated sure will as well as WD-40 they do offer some strict just lubricating uh, sprays which are great but make sure if you use that it's only for emergency purposes not all the time because uh, these machines have um, oil ports and you have to use proper oil or otherwise it's not going to transfer oil down Essentially, you're wearing out your machine because you're not using the proper oil. Make sure you're not using standard WD-40 penetrating oil because it will make all your parts come loose and parts will be coming off your machine and you'll wonder why. It's because you're putting penetrating oil on your machine and that's what penetrating oil does. It makes things come loose. Uh, as well as 3-in-1. A lot of people think 3-in-1 is oil it is it's a penetrating oil it makes parts come loose that's its purpose don't put it on a machine and wonder why your machines falling apart or screws are falling out of it parts are loose it's because you're putting penetrating oil on it so proper oil is key to any machine or any mechanical device machine anything like that so our oiling points are these little oil reservoirs here there's there's several on the machine there's only one on this particular side of the machine so we're just gonna you gotta push it in and then squeeze your oil bottle just a little bit and we got that oiled and then as well as there's another part on this machine that a couple drops of oil will come in handy that's right here on this little block so this this part moves a lot and it's actually a a part that uh, most of the time a machine's been on a job site and after a job site sent in for repair and it gets a lot of wear and most people forget to oil it and when you do that and you're in harsh environments and whatnot, it will wear that part out if you forget to oil it. 
So down here, we normally put a little drop on our uh, looper rocker shaft just to keep those bushings a little lubed up. You don't have to, but it's just good to help your machine have more longevity and last longer. As well as your, your ball joints here, your ball joint right here. Stick a little drop on it. A little drop on the back side. Just helps give that particular part more life. So our other oil points are here, here, and here. So all that, I'll just depress that, press that in a little bit, a squeeze, a little squeeze, a little squeeze. And the best time to oil your machine is after you used it. If you're in sandy uh, area, super muddy area, you're using this machine really dusty, I would say the best time to oil your machine is after you used it. So it can set overnight. The oil can kind of pass through the machine. The next day when you go to use it, it's ready to go nice and oiled up and not excessive oil. A lot of it's kind of... Uh, Ran it ran through the machine so it's not too too much oil if that's not the case and you're in a environment where it's not super dusty not really sandy not getting down in the mud grit you can oil it before you start sewing that's recommended normally because it helps uh, pass the oil through the machine but uh, sand and oil actually creates a lapping compound and it eats metal so and it will wear your parts out prematurely so that's why I specify uh, if you're in that kind of environment not to oil at the beginning of the day beginning of the sewing day because um, getting sand down the machine just from the environment you're using it in and you oiled it and then when the two come together it's going to prematurely wear your parts out because essentially you're creating a lapping compound for metal so that's the main things a few little tips on proper oiling of the machine uh, as well as types of oils to use types of oils not to use and if you have other, any other questions about uh, proper maintenance anything like that you can give us a call at 972-243-3522 as well as you can check out our other tutorial videos on www.citysoulmachine.com